Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're breaking down a topic that's transforming industries across the board, electronic data interchange, also known as EDI. Specifically, we're going to look at the Accredited Standards Committee X12 EDI standard, which is widely used in healthcare, government, finance, and more. Let's dive into the basics of what EDI is, how the X12 format works, and why understanding it matters now more than ever. In 2024, the global healthcare EDI market was valued at about $4.47 billion. It's projected to grow to approximately $7.11 billion by 2029. That's a compound annual growth rate of 9.7%. These numbers are being driven by the digitization of healthcare and the rise of claim submissions. It's important to know EDI is also expanding far beyond healthcare and into other sectors as well. So what exactly is it? EDI is a digital communication method that allows businesses to exchange data in a standardized format. This removes the need for paper and manual data entry, saving time and reducing errors. Whether you're in healthcare, retail, banking, or logistics, EDI helps keep communication efficient and accurate. And it helps by implementing standards such as X12. The X12 standard was developed in 1979 by the Accredited Standards Committee under the American National Standards Institute. It was designed to support structured data exchange across industries in the United States. Think of X12 as the grammar rules for EDI messages. It tells you exactly how to structure and transmit your data so everyone involved understands the message. Every X12 message is made up of key components. Elements, these are the individual pieces of data like a company name or postal code. Segments, these group related elements together. For example, a segment might contain all the information for one address. Identifiers, these tell the system who the trading partners are and what kind of transaction is being sent. There are also over 300 types of EDI X12 transaction sets used in industries like healthcare, insurance, transportation, and finance. Here are a few of the most common. EDI 810, invoice. EDI 835, remittance advice. EDI 837, healthcare claim. EDI 846, inventory inquiry or advice. EDI 850, purchase order. Transaction sets like these are just a small part of the X12 standard. Let's go over the overall structure of this format. The interchange envelope includes all the data being sent. It starts with a segment called ISA, which holds the sender and receiver information along with the time and date of transmission. The IEA segment at the end closes the envelope and includes control numbers to ensure everything lines up correctly. This outer layer ensures the message is securely sent and received as a complete package. Inside the interchange envelope are functional groups. These group together transaction sets of the same type. Each group starts with a GS segment and ends with a GE segment. These segments include items such as functional ID codes, the sender and receiver IDs, responsibility agency code, and the number of transaction sets within the group. Now we're at the heart of the message. The transaction set is a complete business document, like an invoice or a claim. Each transaction set starts with an ST segment and ends with an SE segment. In between are logically related segments such as customer info, product details, or payment amounts. These are structured in a very specific sequence so they're easy to interpret and process electronically. Understanding X12 format is essential for any organization using EDI. It ensures that your systems can communicate clearly and efficiently with others, whether you're submitting healthcare claims, processing invoices, or managing purchase orders. If you'd like to learn more about EDI services, reach out to eTactics. And you've already made it this far into the video, so you might as well share it, give us a like, and drop a comment below.